To start, plug an Ethernet cable between your TPC700 and your router that's on the same network with your ICAST 10 and plug it into power. Then cycle it on. The DataVideo TPC700 can be used with a variety of data video devices, including the SE3200 and ICAST 10 NDI. Pick the app that will connect to the ICAST 10 NDI. For us, it is the ZR1 app. Once you're in the home screen of the TPC700, go to Connection, and then let's add our devices. Your ICAST 10 NDI and any cameras should appear when we scan on our network. So it found our ICAST 10 NDI, and these two other devices are cameras. We also have a third camera in the network. So make sure all the devices you want to connect are checked, which includes, of course, the ICAST 10 NDI, and then press apply. Now you can go ahead and skip because we have no other devices we want to add at this time. And there's your ICAST 10 NDI connected to your TPC 700. Now when you change inputs on the TPC 700, it will correspond to the front panel of your ICAST 10 NDI. In future tutorials, we will connect cameras and do a full production with the ICAST 10 NDI. Follow us on social media to stay up to date with the latest from Data Video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos on you getting the most out of your live productions with Data Video equipment. Thanks for watching.